Hello viewers, this is Dow Too Fast here. In today's video, I will show you how to install this backup camera system. It has seven super bright LEDs for nighttime viewing. Let's go in the car and I'll show you the LCD display. And here's the LCD display. When I put the car in reverse, we'll turn on. Installation is very simple and I'll show you how to do it, so stay tuned. For this install, I'll be using this S-Key license plate backup camera and this S-Key 4.3 inch TFT LCD monitor. Now both items are very inexpensive. You can pick up this camera for $30 and this LCD display for $22. Let me first unbox the backup camera. This is the video cable you run from the front of the vehicle to the back. This is the power cable. There's a user manual. And here's a license plate frame rear camera. Let's have a closer look at this license plate backup camera. There are seven super bright LEDs right here. Over here is a photo cell to detect daytime or nighttime. So it will automatically turn on the LEDs during nighttime. In the middle is a camera. It uses a Zero Lux Color CMOS image sensor. On the front of the camera is a f2.0 170 degrees wide angle lens. This unit will display a clear image both daytime and nighttime. This entire license plate frame is made of aluminum, it's very solid, and is IP67 rated, so it's waterproof and dustproof. Installation is very simple, you just have to install it over your existing license plate. Now I've gone ahead and connected the power cable to my power supply. Let me turn off the light and you'll see these LEDs turn on automatically. Here's the S-Key 4.3 inch TFT color LCD display. This monitor, power cable, user manual. This monitor has a 4.3 inch color LCD display with a resolution of 480 by 272 and an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. It operates on 12 volt DC. At the bottom you have this base that you can rotate 180 degrees. You have a double sided tape at the bottom so you can stick this onto your dash. At the back you have this cable with a video connector and a power connector. The yellow connector is your main video input. The white connector is your auxiliary video input. And the red connector is your power connector. Let me show you how you will connect this system together on the LCD monitor. Connect this yellow connector to the yellow connector on this video cable. On the other end of this video cable, connect it to the video connector on the rear camera. Connect this power cable to this red connector. And also connect this power cable to this red connector. On this power cable, you have a red wire and a black wire. Connect this red wire to the red wire on the video cable and you'll need to tie this to the reverse 12 volt wire on the vehicle. Connect the black wire to chassis ground. On the other end of the video cable, connect this red wire to the red wire going to the LCD monitor and then connect the black wire to chassis ground. With these wires connected, when you put the car in reverse, the 12 volt from the backup light will power the camera. It will also send that 12 volt through this wire out onto this wire, which will power on the LCD monitor. And when you put the car in reverse, you'll be able to see the video from the backup camera on the LCD screen. Let's take this to the car and I'll show you how to install it. I'll be installing the rear camera system in this 2010 Toyota Corolla. Remove the backing on the double side tape. I'll install the monitor next to the A pillar on the driver's side. Connect the power cable and the video cable to the monitor. Using a butt connector, I'm crimping the red wire on the power cable to the red wire on the video cable. So you're connecting these two wires together. Connect the black wire on the power cable to the chassis ground. Remove this panel. Also pull back on this kick panel. Pull back on this weather stripping. 
tuck the power cable and the RCA cable behind the A pillar right here. Run the video cable all the way down to the kick panel. Run the video cable along the factory loom. Reinstall the panel. Continue running the cable to the trunk. Fold down the back seat and we'll pull the video cable through. Route the cable up to the top inside the trunk. Run the video cable along the factory wire loom that goes to the trunk lid. Remove the trunk lid liner. Remove the six nuts that's holding the trim piece that's on the outside. Using pliers, squeeze this plastic clip to release it. And now this piece will come out. Release one of the license plate lights. Install the license plate camera along with the license plate onto the vehicle. Feed this cable into the hole where you normally have the license plate lights. On the license plate light, cut a small notch right in this area. With this small notch, you can feed the wire through this opening. And here's what it looks like with the license plate light installed. And here's a look from behind. Now you can reinstall this trim piece. Remove this cover that's covering the reverse light. Connect the video cable to the backup camera. Connect the power cable to the power connector. Connect the red wire from the power cable to the red wire on the video cable. And this is the other side of the red power cable. Run the power cable to the backup light. I connected my multimeter to the two wires on the backup light, put the car in reverse, and make sure you're reading 12 volt. Also identify which wire is positive and which wire is negative. So on this vehicle, the white wire is negative and the red wire is positive. Solder two power wires to the backup light. Tape up the connection. Clean up the wire. Start the car off. Put it in reverse. LCD comes on. Now the grid line you see there is coming from the camera. You cannot disable it. Now if you want to adjust the angle of this camera, you need to loosen the top Phillips screw that you see right here. Once you loosen it, you can rotate this up or down, then tighten it back down. Here's a look at the image after adjusting the camera and pointing it down. When you put the gear selector to park, 
the LCD will turn off. Again, I'll put the car in reverse. And you see it turn on. Right now I'm in the garage, I turn off all the lights, but there's still enough light around this area to keep the LEDs from turning on. I'm gonna cover it with my hand, and you'll see it turn on right there. And here's a look at the live video from inside the vehicle. As you can see, this S-Key rear camera system works very well. The image you get from this license plate camera is very clear. It works well in both daytime and nighttime. The build quality is also very good. The entire unit is made of all metal and is waterproof and dustproof. If you have an older vehicle that does not come with a factory backup camera, this is a good accessory to add to your vehicle. I hope you enjoy watching this video. And if you're interested in getting the license plate rear camera and the LCD monitor, I'll put both links in the description below. Thank you for watching and remember to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.